Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Ignite Ministry. My name is Evelyn and I'm the director for Ignite Ministry at Praise Chapel Bell Gardens. I am just so thankful that we are able to do this through Zoom, through social media. It's just amazing. Can I get an amen? Who did I hear? Did I hear it? Oh, come on. Where are my kids at? Where are my parents at? Hey guys, don't forget. Oh, who, who's, who zoomed in this past Tuesday? Ooh, we had such a great time, amazing. I mean, come on parents, tune in your kids. We're having such a great time. We even pre-planned stuff for them. So don't let your little ones miss out. This is for them. We're putting some labor into this. So don't miss out. We're keeping you tuned in of some of the items that we might need for our, you know, for the activities that we have for them. So tune in, we have great things. I'm just, I'm just so excited. But anyways, um, what, what do we got going on here, guys? I know some of you guys know what this is. Yes, this is prayer time. So we are going to just close our eyes, bow down our heads. We might want to pray for a little sister or, or auntie or grandma. But Father God, Lord, we just go before you most of all. We just want to thank you, Lord, for everything that you're doing, Lord. We want to pray for our nation, for our country, for this world, Lord because we need so much of you, Lord. We need so much direction from you, Lord. We always do, Lord. And we can't ask for a better better time, but right now, Lord, Lord, heal our hearts, Lord, heal. Heal us, Father God, Lord, from this epidemic. We are so done with this, Lord, but I know that you have a purpose for everything that's taking place right now, and I couldn't be just so excited, Lord, because I know there's great things coming. You're allowing all of this to take place, Lord, but for one sole thing, for us to just get back in with you, Lord, get directed back into you, reading our word, praying, interceding, praying for one another, for our churches, for our pastors, for our leadership, for our government, Lord. I just want to pray that you continue, Father God, Lord, to spark that fire within us, Lord, within our children, Lord, that right now need it so much, Lord, within the parents, Lord, that they, that they need you as well, Father God, Lord, just like everyone else in this world, Lord. We just need a move of you, Lord, that you continue, Father God, Lord, your protection over each one of us. In Jesus' name, and everyone said, hey, amen. Well, today, woo -woo, who's ready for the word? Come on now. Who is ready for the word? So today we have great a great message for this month. Oh, come on everybody. This month is June. Woo! Woo! Summer is here. Yay! So this month, for the month of June, we are going to be talking about trusting. Hmm. Who? Me? Oh no. Trusting in God. Yes, that's right. Some of us are just, um, might be going through something. We're just scared of, of things that are taking place. Or it's like, you know, when are we going to get out of our home? Like, when is this going to be over? God, are you even hearing my prayers? Like, God, wh what's taking so long? Well, in the process of this, we are what? We're trusting in God. And that's where God wants us right now. We have to have an understanding that right now, through it all, we just have to trust God. We have to trust this process. Like some of us, when we're in this grade and, oh man, this, this homework is hard. This is, this is too difficult. Mom, dad, I can't, I can't. I can't, I can't. This grade is so hard. Can 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 I just go to my other grade or can they just move me? Like, no, we have to go through that. We have to press on. We have to just, you know, get into prayer. We have to just be patient with ourselves. Be patient with our parents. Be patient with our teachers. Be patient with our siblings. We just have to learn how to trust in God and he is gonna make a way for it because he always does you guys he always does so I'd like you to open up your Bibles on Proverbs 3 5 it says trust in the Lord with all of your what Ooh, heart and lean not on your own understanding so sometimes thank you Jesus for your word so sometimes we just 
we just want to go with our thoughts and we just want to just take them just take them on in and just forget about everything else but the reality is that we can't go on our own understanding because our own understanding is like a roller coaster it goes up and down up and down and sometimes our own understanding is not what god wants us to do so we have to rethink everything and we have to like get into our word and we have to bow down our knees and put our hands together and say lord i'm having a hard time with this maybe it's a decision that you're making maybe it's it's something that you did and maybe mom and dad are not gonna like be happy about it you have to go into prayer and say lord is it what i'm doing is is it is it good is it is it like is it in your own you know is it honoring you and then that's where God's like that's where we have to put our trust in God whatever we do we have to put our trust in God so no matter what it's like we go to the store and we buy water right we're putting our trust that this is actually clean water like we're not gonna go to the store and buy like dirty brown water like uh wait what what is this like no we're putting our trust that when we go and purchase this that someone maybe might have not opened it hopefully they didn't and they didn't do something evil like that but you know we're putting our trust that this this bottle that has water in it we're we're trusting that this is clean and it's going to be so good for our body well that's the same thing when we pray and we're trusting in God, we're really believing and we're really putting our trust in God. And we're believing that things will take place according to his will. And therefore, we need to keep trusting. Through this all, we gotta put our all of our focus and all of our trust in Jesus because he's the one that has been holding us together throughout all of this. So, if you have any doubts that might come in or something, put your trust back in God. Not in the water, but in God. So allow God's presence, the Holy Spirit, to just take place and He will make He will He will make the way because He's already made the way. So let's close it in prayer. I hope you enjoyed this message and a small little illustration. Father God, I just want to pray for these beautiful children that tuned in today, Father God, Lord. I want to just keep Father God, Lord a covering upon them lord that you keep a covering upon them upon what they see upon what they hear lord but most of all that they just put their trust in you lord and that you father god lord will give them a vision father god lord a vision of you father god lord of what you want to father god lord gift them with what they're going to do father god lord to preach your gospel because these kids that are tuning in these are our next generation lord that they're going to be preaching the gospel father god lord for this broken world, Father God, Lord, that we need it, Father God, Lord. Lord, equip them, Father God, Lord, as they're at home, Lord. Equip their parents, Lord. I just want to pray over them, Father God, Lord. Life upon that home, Father God, Lord. Life upon their, their children, Father God, Lord. I just want to pray, Father God, Lord, that you, Father God, Lord, instill in us, each one of us, Lord, nothing but your love and nothing but your understanding, not ours, but yours. In Jesus' name, and everyone said, Amen. Hey, God bless you guys. I love you. Till next time.